yes getting ungated is getting a little bit harder than it used to be people have been reporting that it's getting a little bit harder amazon takes a little bit more time to actually engage you but what did you expect like did you really expect to be able to get ungated by submitting a blank page every single time forever on amazon did you really expect that it would actually um stay like this forever of course not um, so in today's video, we are going to talk a little bit about that, about the whole, um, about this whole issue. It's not really an issue, but about this whole, um, this whole, this whole thing that people are right now talking about on Twitter. Before we actually do, link in the description. You guys know that I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you need help scaling your Amazon business, book a call with me. Let's talk. We can build a plan to actually help you reach your goal. Second link, Discord server. All right, if you want the latest info about getting ungated on amazon it's always going to be on the discord server i always make videos uh but it's always the the latest info like if you have any question it's always better to actually come on the discord server and just hang out with people because if you talk with people you always you, you will always be updated on the latest thing going on in this industry right now so as I was saying, like really, like what did you expect? So things were, um, you know, I think that people are, some people are still getting ungated automatically when they submit something. But like, did you really think that Amazon was going to let things slide like this for everybody forever? Um, of course not. You know, this is why um, when people used to say that, yeah, you can just get ungated um with all the confirmation the, like it, 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 like it doesn't matter if your account is old or your account is new i've always been saying yes you can try but like more than likely if you have a new account even with a, 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 an invoice that is meeting all the requirements from amazon you are still going to need to to submit multiple times so with all the confirmation if you have a new account it's going to be even harder you need to get if you want to reach the the the, the point where you can just get and get it using like anything and you get and get it in 30 seconds you are going to need to first get and get it in a lot of brand already and second um have some sales so amazon trusts you all right because um of course when you submit an invoice amazon is not going to check everyone's invoice but and th this is something really important because I said it multiple times. When you were able to get ungated using blank pages, all right? I said, yes, you can probably get ungated using blank pages, like submitting blank pages, submitting random stuff. It does not mean that you should do it. And you know, I believe that, and I'm pretty sure that people that actually did this when it was working are going to be it the hardest um, with this if Amazon like if Amazon actually went back to the submission and actually see this stuff and this is probably what has been happening and so it's pretty easy for them to actually you know figure out like every single body that has been submitting like who has been submitting blank pages and for who it is going to for who they are going to need to make the process way harder to actually get and get it um, so you know the thing is that it's actually a good thing because like it should not like you know the harder it is to ungate something the better it is for you when you are actually ungated because you can get ungated super easily for everything um just by submitting blank pages and stuff and without having to to place an order like for the actual stuff it's going to be everybody's going to be ungated and so um there's not that 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 barrier of entry anymore which is not a huge barrier of entry but just a small barrier of entry is um enough to you know deter some people and like reduce competition um so if you are hit by this like just think of it this way it's not that bad yes the time that it takes right now to get engaged is a little bit longer maybe it is for you just make sure that every time you submit an invoice you submit an invoice meeting amazon requirements so you can build that trust back with amazon because there are still a lot of people that actually report that they are still getting ungated automatically all right in 30 seconds so this is why i'm pretty sure that Amazon is hitting people that have been submitting, submitting some bullshit harder than other people. And I should actually try. I don't have anything to, to, to engage right now. To be honest, I haven't even placed an order for inventory this month because I'm still sitting on my money. Maybe the sale that I'm waiting for is coming next week. But um, yeah, it's actually a good thing. It's actually not a bad thing. Uh, but it is, as I said, it's not too hard to get ungated anyway. Like, um, to get an invoice meeting Amazon, meeting Amazon's requirements is not that difficult, all right? You can still do Amazon to Amazon. 
uh, and if not, like you can still, I have a whole lot of video, even if Amazon to Amazon stops working, I have a whole lot of videos, a whole lot of videos on how to actually find suppliers for the brand that you want to get and get it in, right? So, yeah, if you actually, as I said, if you are still lucky to be to be on gated like in 30 seconds after you submit an invoice, do not upload random pictures to actually get on gated because it's going to bite you in the ass eventually. If it's just with Amazon being more strict, um, Amazon being more strict with you when you try to get on gated, it's not too bad. But just imagine if Amazon wants to check the authenticity, which they could totally do because they could not they cannot trust that the inventory that you actually bought. Um, it's legitimate, right? So imagine if they ask you to, if they block your inventory, like they, they, they freeze your inventory, which they do when they suspend people. They freeze your inventory and they ask you to provide inventory documentation for everything. It could happen. So this is why always do things by the rules. Even like the, the further away from the rules that I would go to is just using order email or like order confirmation. But uh, I would not do more than that because you're going to get fucked, right? <coughs> you're going to get fucked one way or another. Like, did you really expect the situation to, to last forever? It is still possible to get engaged. Maybe it's a little bit harder for some people, but like, if you actually, sometimes, you know, you, 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 you will need to submit invoices multiple times, all right? When I started, and even I saw a tweet from, who's, from Chris Grant, all right? Which is a, a, a seller that has been selling for years, and that said that back then you even had sometimes to submit the invoice 40 to 60 times. To get on gated, all right? And a lot of you guys are stopping to submit invoice, like they are, are giving up after two to three tries. Um, so, you know, like figure your shit out, all right? Figure that shit out and um, do not give up, like just because you get, like you get, you do not get on gated on the first try. Um, keep submitting. If you have, if your invoice meets Amazon's requirements and try to get invoices that meet Amazon's requirements, all right? It's not too hard to find distributors for everything. I have videos on how to get and get it for the main brands so um, that are still working if they are legitimate invoice because they are all legitimate invoice. So, um, you know, do like, what did you expect? This is the only thing that I want you guys to remember from this video is what the fuck did you expect? Did you really expect Amazon to not do anything? about this, like about, about people being able to get on gated by just submitting a blank page and everybody talking about this shit on Twitter, like bragging about this shit about being on gated by submitting blank pages. What did you expect, all right? Be smarter than this, all right? Of course it is not sustainable on the long term. Of course it's going to get fixed sometimes. And just because it's fixed does not mean that you cannot get on gated anymore. Yes, you can still get on gated, just get on in a voice like we used to do. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video. Watch these videos on the screen if you want to keep learning about selling on Amazon. And subscribe if you want the, those daily news on selling on Amazon and what's going on with the community, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.